Once you have all of your payroll items set up, you're now ready to add your payroll items to your employees. To set up your employees' payroll items, go to Employees from the main menu at the top, and then select Employee List. From within the employee list, right-click on each employee and select Employee Payroll Items. Enter in the hire date of your employee, a pay period frequency, a pay group if one applies, whether or not the employee is to be paid by timesheet hours, check this option if you will be using timesheets to pay the employee. The W-2 information, statutory employee, retirement plan, non-resident alien employee, and qualified employee for hire act. If you're unsure about any of these options, please contact your accountant for advice on whether or not these options should be selected. If you intend on using commissions or the commission tracking feature, you can assign a default commission earning item and a default commission calculation method. If you use certified payroll and certified payroll is enabled, assign a marital status, an ethnicity, and a default class. Enter in the employee's social security number, and date of birth. You can assign a default earning item to auto-populate on the timesheet here. You can select a default service item to auto-populate on the timesheet here. If you do workers' compensation tracking, select the default workers' comp code. To add the earning items, click on the Earnings tab. Start typing in the name of the earning item. Enter in the rate for the employee's payroll items in the Amount field. If you would like to assign a default department to each earning item, assign the department here. This allows you to track the employee's hourly earnings or annual salary earnings to a default department. As you can see, once I've selected the earning item, the taxes for each earning will appear down here. If for any reason the taxes are different for each earning, clicking through each earning will show you the taxes for each individual earning. Once I'm done with the Earnings tab, I'm ready to move to the Deductions tab. Enter in the amount for the employee's deductions here. If there is a limit, enter in the limit here. Please be sure to set the deduction begin date. If this date is not set, the deduction will not begin withholding. 
please also note that the begin date for the deduction must be prior to the pay period begin date that you would like for that deduction to begin withholding on. You can leave the end date blank or fill this out if you would like the deduction to end on a specific date. Just like the earnings, my deductions show the taxes below that should be calculated after the deduction is withheld. This will show you if the taxes on each deduction differ for any reason. You can also delete taxes here, as well as the earnings, if a tax is incorrectly selected. Since I've selected my earnings already, my taxes have automatically populated for me based off the earnings that I've assigned. Enter in the allowance information as it should be set up from the employee's W-4. Select the filing status, the miscellaneous value, or auxiliary value. If for any reason the employee has elected for extra withholding, enter in the extra withholding amount here. If the employee gets paid any additions, add your addition item here. Enter in the amount of the addition item here, or the percent based off of the addition calculation type, and the max per if one applies. If the employee gets paid time off, you've set up the earning and assigned a time off type, then your time off information will automatically populate here. When tracking time off, enter in the hours per here or the accrual hours based off the accrual period. Enter in the eligible date for when the employee is eligible for using time off or accruing time off. If the employee is already accrued time, the time accrued will show up in the available field. To enter in a max accruable rate, put in the max accruable amount here. Add your employer liabilities, and once you've completed filling out the liability information, click Save or Save and Close. Certain information is required prior to saving the employee. Please be sure to read the validation or warning messages that Total Office Manager provides on additional setup required before saving the employee's payroll items. Once you have verified that all of the information is properly filled out, you will also need to make sure that you set up the unemployment rate if you have state unemployment. To set up state unemployment, go to Employees from the main menu at the top, Unemployment Tax Rates. Assign the proper federal rate 6.0% or 0.6% and the state amount for each quarter. If this is not filled out, your state unemployment liability will not calculate on the paycheck. For more information about setting up employee payroll items, setting up your unemployment or federal rates, click F1 to read the help topic on employee payroll items.